Guys, it all is here. Welcome to my studio down at Trooper Golf Center here in Warrington. Today, I'm going to show you a great drill that you can use, which is going to stop you from collapsing this lead arm. It's going to control the length of your back swing as well. So if you suffer from overswinging as well, this is going to help. And yes, all you do need is an armband. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so we need an armband. I've got a golf club, I can practice it outdoors, you guys can practice it indoors, you just need something to hold on, maybe a, a wooden spoon, you can use a club, just go down the grip a little bit, down halfway down the shaft, you don't break any lights or hit the ceiling, or if you've got enough room, you can swing the club itself. So, making the back swing, a lot of people thinking, this is making a full swing, making sure that the arms and everything make all of this movement up here. And what we really want to do is really get rid of this sort of bending of this arm by thinking about what this arm is doing. If this arm loses its angle here, I'm going to put this hand on, this is bent. If I've got the angle here, when I put it on, it's further away, it's further away from the shoulders and the head, so it's more extended. And it's something that we want comfortably extended, it's not, it has to be iron bar straight. It's going to be nice and comfortable, so some might have a little bit of a the gear in the elbow, that's fine, we just don't want it to really collapse. So a great drill which is going to help us is the armband. All the brands are available. So we just want to put it on, we want it halfway either side of the elbow, so the elbow goes right in the middle of my armband. And what that does is it restricts by how much I can flex this arm. So I'm going to take my grip and I'm going to make a back swing now. I can't overbend this because it won't allow me to with the armband on, with the, the inflation of the armband. So it doesn't have to be fully inflated, as you can see, you see it's creasing there, but it's slightly inflated because I want to be able to get the arm into almost a, a right angle there. So just making swings where you get into that position, that there, so it's nice and comfortably extended. Finished. So you guys at home, you can be in there, grip down a little bit, and it's just feeling this movement. Shoulders there, made a nice full turn, you know, the hands are in really a good position there. You can look at from down target lines view, you know, made a nice movement in there. And it's going to stop that feeling for you guys of going too long. So a few little practice drills with that, a few feelings with the armband and then try and recreate that sensation of half swing. So we're in here, we look at it from down the target line again, just that feeling of half swing, keeping this arm in that very same position. And then when you're at the driving range at the practice ground, make a few practice swings that way, just practice hitting a few shots. In your mind, you will feel like you're making half swing. But in your, if you think about having the armband still there, You'll be able to control not just the length of that backswing, but how much this is allowed then to flex through. And if we can get control of that, that will make it much easier for you then to be able to produce a desired downswing where we're not standing the shaft up as much and we can produce a nice shallower angle. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, put your comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. If this is a drill that you have done, if it's something that you suffer from, there's plenty of guys who suffer from the, the bent lead arm and slightly overswinging as well. So post your comments, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, please do so. All you need is a Gmail account and you just click the subscribe button there on the screen. Um, as always, give a thumbs up to the video if you're liking the content. You can follow me on social networks, the links are in the description below and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.